Assalamu alaikum. How are you students? I hope all of you will be fine by the grace of Allah Almighty and safe from coronavirus. This is your English class. In the previous lecture, we discussed the writer introduction and I explained the summary of the lesson. Like here in this lesson, we, uh, in the previous lecture, we discussed unit number 2, Pip Mersa Convict, reading page number 14. In that page, we discussed the main character of the story. A person or a child whose name was a Pip, who was an orphan child and lived with his sister. One day he was standing near the tombstone of his parents. He was feeling lonely and sad. Now, this is our children learning objectives to enhance vocabulary, to improve reading and comprehension skill. Now, let's start our today reading. The gray land and the gray sky made me feel sad. I suddenly realized that I was an orphan and I began to cry. Hold your noise, cried a terrible voice. It came from a man who had just stepped out from behind a gravestone. Keep still or I will cut your throat. Okay, in this short paragraph at the time he heard a terrible voice and frightening. This man was dressed in very rough clothes. This man was frightening. He was dressed in rough gray clothes and he had a big iron chain on his leg. He was an escaped convict. His shoes were broken and he had an old rag tied round his head. This was rag. He was dirty from being soaked in the muddy water from the ditches. He was Convert in scratches from nettles and stones, he limped and shivered and glared and glowed. His teeth chattered in his head and he seized maybe the chin. Okay, in this paragraph, at a time he heard a terrible voice and frightening. This man was dressed in very rough clothes. And he had a big iron chain on his leg. He was looking like an escaped grief. Like we see here in this paragraph, this man was holding the pip and uh, he is wearing very rough clothes. Oh, don't cut my throat, sir. I pleaded in terror. Tell me your name, said the man quick. Pip, sir, once more said the man staring at me louder pip pip sir show me where you live said the man point out the place i pointed to where our village lad a mile from the church the man looked at me closely then he turned me upside down and emptied my pockets there was nothing in them but a piece of bread the upside down view of the church Right it itself when he placed me on a high tombstone, I said trembling while he ate the bread reverently. Now look here, said the man, where are your parents? There, sir, said I. The man jumped and made a short run, but then he stopped and looked over his shout shoulder. There's the right, timidly said, pointed at the tombstone. Students in this paragraph, discussion between convict and Pip started. The convict shouted and asked about Pip's name. Pip feeling hesitation and replied, My name is Pip. The convict uh, searched Pip's pocket and found a piece of bread and he ate it. Further, Pip told him about his parents. Now come to the question. Look at the words in the first column, right hand antonyms for each okay these are the word escaped soaked stirring dirty students the synonyms are also given in front of the word release observe glare untidy here in this box these all are the antonyms and you search the antonym exact 
antonym and right here i will tell you escaped escape you right here endurance is the correct soaked soaked dry staring look away dirty clean okay this is your home task these questions are like the comprehension the first one read the first two paragraph and give answers of the following question the first question is why did pip start to cry in the graveyard one day in the previous reading we discussed the answer of this question is he realized that he was an orphan child question number two how did man dress up the answer is he was dressed in rough gray clothes question number three why was be frightening from the convict the answer is because he was looking like an escaped convict he caught the pip and bragging to tell him come to the question number three read the paragraph and say whether the following statements are true or false the first one convict was dressed in beautiful cloth its cross second a big iron chain around convict's leg its true three he was an escaped convict it's also true fourth one then he pushed me upside down it's was false five the man jumped and made a short turn it's true now students turn to your next page and start the next page reading the learning objective are the same like the previous to enhance vocabulary to improve reading and comprehension skill okay in this paragraph was said the man so who do you live with if i let you live which i haven't made up my mind about my sister sir mrs joy george ray wife for joy george ray the blacksmith sir blacksmith oh said he i looked down at his leg after looking at his leg and me several time he took me by both arms and tilted me back as far as he could hold me then he stared into my eyes now look here he said i need to decide if i will let you live do you know what a file is in this paragraph uh, students pip told him about his sister husband who was a blacksmith the convict demanded a tool name was file file mean file you uh, file is a tool used uh, by the blacksmith who is, which is uh, used for cutting iron things okay this paragraph is too much easy uh, students you read out this paragraph by own uh, i will just explain briefly in this paragraph the convict tilts the pip many times and forces him to give him a file or something to eat tomorrow otherwise a person who is living near the room will kill him further convict said no need to tell anyone about me otherwise you will not alive pip was too much frightened these things are discussed in this paragraph now come to the uh, question number one circle the synonym to the word in the bold in each row here is a very easy activity for you students here is a dreadfully helpless deep hiding tilt here two options are given and you circle the correct one dreadfully the correct option is awful helpless dependent deep soaking hiding shelter and tilt draw okay students this is your home task read the paragraphs carefully and find out at least five nouns and verbs you know very well what are the nouns the name of any person place or thing is called a noun and verbs 
action words are called the verb write into the relevant column you choose just five nouns and the five verb from the above reading and write here here is another question for you punctuate the following paragraph this paragraph is also uh, given on share book and you solve from there now come to the next reading of page number 17 also you open in front of you it's the last page of reading that young man can bear us now that young man has a secret way of getting at a boy and at this heart and at his liver a boy can't hide himself from that young man a boy may lock his door may be warm in bed may tuck himself off may draw the clothes over his head may think himself himself comfortable and safe but that young man will softly creep and creep his way to him and tear him open okay in this reading uh, this is easily paragraph and you read by your own students i will just explain this paragraph in this reading the convict again scolded him and said if you don't give him file or food tomorrow early in the morning a boy locked him in the room and killed him we promised to the convict at early in the morning near the fort i give you a file or food now Pip released and ran away at high speed. The convict walked towards the room near the church. Pip ran home without stopping. This is our lesson. Now come to the question. These are the words, synonym and the sentences. Here the first word is battery. The synonym is a fort. Here are the two sentences I write here. They are Lying near the battery, the fan was working with battery. Both are the correct. Blacksmith, a person who creates tools with metal. His father is a blacksmith. Convict prisoner. Police arrested the convict. Terror, horror. He was trembling with terror. F file. I bought a new file. File is also a tool. Okay, this is your home task, students. Make your own sentences of the following words battery, blacksmith, convict, terror, and file. You write here your own sentences. Now, come to the question number two. Read the paragraph and give answer. Of the following question what did the young man do with the boy the young man killed him question number two where did the convict want to meet with Pip again the convict want the convict wanted to meet with Pip near the old battery here is a question number three. Read the paragraph carefully and find out at least five nouns and verbs right into the relevant column. We, we already practiced this thing and you write here the nouns and the verbs. Now come to the question number four. That is the last question of our today lecture and you solve on your home task. Read the whole lesson carefully and choose the correct option. The first one is... <coughs> Pip's father family name is here the option is very clear and in the previous lecture I already tell you the correct option is a question number two Pip's sister married to a blacksmith I uh, I just told you the answer we live in a in dash area marshy area Suddenly, Pip realized that I was in dash and began to cry. I was an orphan. 5. Early tomorrow dash, Pip bring that file and the grub. 
early tomorrow morning the man was an escaped convict seven the convict was dressed in dash gray cloth rough there is a dash hiding with me there is a young man hiding with me a big iron chain on convict dash on convict leg the last one is what was the name of pip sister husband joy jarre is the correct option okay this is our today lecture students i hope all of you will understand very well here in this lesson students there are some pictures this one this picture and uh, here this one picture you uh, you also you also explain this picture you at least write five sentences about this picture okay students this is our tutorial lecture and uh, i hope all of you will understand very well allah hafiz